Good morning, dears brothers and sisters. This is your sister, Reverend Melissa, and I am here with another message. This morning, I, as usual, I went online and I watched a few videos, and I do keep up with um, some of the entries on our dear brother's blog, The um, Humans Are Free. And I just wanted to share with you a few things because um, he featured an article regarding um, arsenic being found in many foods in the grocery stores and on the shelves. Seriously. Arsenic in our foods? Okay. If we all do not know by now that there has been a horrible, horrible conspiracy. You know, and we're always being accused of being conspiracy theorists, and yet... Um, it seems like the conspiracists are the ones who have been secretly making us all ill and silently killing us all off. Um, certainly um, enforcing their blood covenant, okay? As <laughs> there is more than enough proof to show that that is indeed what they have been doing. So, um, brothers and sisters, be mindful uh you know, in the gospel of peace. Okay, you know, hey, this is the ancient word series, and I love the teachings of Christ um, from the gospel of peace and the gospel of the Holy Twelve. And so, in the gospel of peace, over 2,000 years ago, think about this seriously now, over 2,000 years ago, in it, Christ gave specific instructions. He said for us not to eat anything that would disrupt our health or our senses. And what does most of these foods with poisons that contain poisons do? They disrupt our health and our senses. Okay? And then also, Christ Yes, to Maria, in the Gospel of Peace, he also instructed us and told us how important the how important our thoughts were. Okay? In the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, you read that Christ went to that he spent time in Egypt and he studied with Hermes. Okay? So the thing is, is that we should go and we should learn the teachings, the ways of our Creator, as was taught to Christ, Yesu, when he spent time with Hermes, when he walked the earth. Okay? Excuse me, you guys. My roommate has, um, his girlfriend has um, two sweet little children, and recently... They have moved in with us, so into the house um, that I share with um, with them. So, if you hear a little munchkin running around or playing or laughing, then that's one of those little dear little sweet ones. Now, okay, so um, I assure you, they're not being killed. They're um, they're two, a uh, little boy, and little girl. I think the little boy is a little over one and the little girl is about three so Luna and Bruce <laughs> Brucey <laughs> so if you hear right now Brucey is is the one who's running up and down the hallway but getting back to what I'd like to share with you this morning and that is that I am reading the teachings of Hermes now and I'm reading the Hermonica and also I am reading uh, this one. Okay. Alright, so I got both of these from Amazon. And they're in the Sacred Text Library as well, but I wanted to be able to have something to hold while it's at work. So, um, the thing is, is that I'm going to share with you one chapter out of the Hermonica. And this is very important because everything begins with our thoughts. 
And so um, this that I am going to read is The Being of Atom. If you get the harmonica, and it is by um, um, Terry Freak or Terry Freck and Peter Gandhi. The thing is, is that I don't really focus much on their commentaries. Remember, those are their commentaries from their readings. So I would recommend just bypass the commentaries of each chapter and just read each section for yourself and then go from there. Okay, so the being of atom. And interestingly, we know our creator as Yah. Okay, so you know, you, we all know about Yah, praise Yah, okay? And we know about the Egyptians refer to him as Ra. So you know, praise Ra. And then in the, we also know from our dear Muslim and um, Hebrew brothers and sisters and Jewish brothers and sisters that he is El. And everywhere he is El, the great I am. Okay? In male and female. Okay? We are surrounded by El. And yet there is another that he is referred to and known as. And this one <laughs> is amazing. And yet it's so simple. Atom. Hmm. What was the first man's name? Adam. Hmm. Adam and Atom. Think about it. Look at our planet and all that we've recently learned about our, our center sun. And how the earth, the center sun that is inside the earth. And when you think about the center sun and, and then the way in which an atom is structured. The earth is an atom. All of the planets have center suns. They're atoms. When life begins, it begins with an atom. Mm -hmm. Isn't that so wonderful? So, the being of atoms. Give me your whole awareness and concentrate your thoughts. For knowledge of atoms being requires deep insight, which comes only, which comes only as a gift of grace. It is like a plunging torrent of water whose swiftness outstrips any man who strives to follow it, leaving behind not only the hearer, but even the teacher it himself. To conceive of atom is difficult. To define him is impossible. The imperfect and impertinent, impermanent, cannot easily comprehend the eternally perfected. Atom is whole and constant. In himself, he is motionless. Yet he is self-moving. He is immaculate, incorruptible, and everlasting. Hmm... Does that not sound familiar? Now, this these are the words of Hermes. And yet, if you go back to the ancient word series, you would discover, even in the, if you read the book, or Path to, I think it's the, the Path to Eternal Happiness, or um, I can't think of the title of my other book right now, but the thing is, is that in the Apocalypse of, of Abraham, Abraham is told about our creator. He is immaculate. He is immortal. He is El, 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 Yah, El. He is... There are so many names that he is known by. And this is what Hermes said, okay? He is immaculate, incorruptible, and everlasting. He is the supreme, absolute reality. He is filled with, with ideas which are imperceptible to the senses. Look at our planet. Look at our life. Think about the off-worlders that we have not even met as of yet. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize how much there is to read of this. So I will just leave that little excerpt from for you guys to comprehend, but this is what I'm reading. Okay? So check it out.
it is well worth a reading and it is enlightening so with that said have a beautiful day spend some time with our little brethren and little sisters out in the wild you know living out here in Utah I love living out here in Utah the animals are so sweet and friendly and it's just naturally beautiful if you have never been to Utah I can tell you a few things one the media I think has purposely misled the world regarding the Midwest and regarding Utah because Utah is a Shangri-La it's paradise I, I mean you got some crazies out here don't get me wrong but the earth is the earth is amazing the trees the mountains it's a peaceful place and the animals are happy even with folks out here having guns and sometimes going hunting and killing animals, the birds are happy, butterflies are happy, little baby dragonflies are happy, everybody's happy. <laughs> what can I say? I love living in a happy place. <laughs> so with that said, everyone, peace be with thee. Have a beautiful day. Come your thoughts. And... Now realize that our creator is also known as Atom. Take care.